Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. This is the ultimate analysis video for the best BI tool in the market. There are three best tools available in the market if you are working on a data. Whether you are going to choose as your career option or maybe you want to decide a BI tool for your own organization. We are going to compare Microsoft Power BI versus Tableau versus ClickSense. We are going to have a look as a career option for you as a developer or maybe if you want to choose a tool for your own organization then how to choose them what are the different parameters and how to decide which tool is the best well i'm sure you have seen already a lot of videos in the market for the different bi tools and you are confused that which tool is best for you well i'm gonna sort it out for you in this video you would find everything you need to know if you would like to know more Please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm gonna let you know everything. So let's get started. But before going into the comparison, we will briefly get to know what are these three different tools. The very first is Microsoft Power BI. What is Microsoft Power BI? Well guys. Power BI is a Microsoft BI tool which is for self-service. That means it's a self-service BI tool where you would get rich visualization, custom visualizations. You can connect with any data anytime, anywhere. You can also have a look at your reports or dashboards anywhere through its mobile app. This is one of the best tool in the market. You will get to know in our upcoming slides why I'm saying so. This tool provides you a lot of features and one of the best features of this tool is its smooth integration with another Microsoft products as well as you can connect more than 350 data sources. Not only that, you would also get a huge customized visualizations that you can use to generate your reports and dashboards. Some of the key features of these tools are rich graphical visualization derived from complex BI data, ad hoc reporting, excellent navigation pane and features a data set of customizable dashboards. Additionally, you can also create one app in Microsoft Power BI so that you can combine multiple reports and share with your end users. This story doesn't end over here. You would get a lot of additional features if you started working on Power BI. For example, you can create your data marts on Power BI services. You can create data flows and you can ingest data almost from any of the source that you can think of. So this is in brief about Power BI. Now let's move to Tableau. Tableau is one of the leading and most popular business intelligence tools. It has the best perception abilities with an ideal front-end graphical UI. It additionally has some underlying examination modules which can be utilized by the users directly on their data. Organizations with smaller budgets often use Google Data Studio which is free. However, Google Data Studio does have some significant drawbacks when it is compared with Power BI or Tableau. Tableau offered a lot of rich features. For example, it can handle huge amount of data and when it comes to statistical analysis, it is one of the best BI tool you can find in the market. It has an efficient drag and drop feature. Tableau Public is used for data sharing. It uses the web to incorporate collaborative data visualization and much more. Next, let's talk about ClickSense. ClickSense is a click product. That means if you know ClickView, then it's from the same organization. ClickSense is a cloud-based solution from Click. ClickView was their on-premise solution. Now, since the world is moving forward and we are working more and more on the cloud and we want to be platform independent, that's why most of the companies are moving their services on the cloud so that you can access these services at any point of time from anywhere. ClickSense is an intelligent data visualization tool which empowers clients to import and accumulate data from BI sources. One of the features is that you can use data visualization tools as a software to shape raw data into meaningful information. Of course, all the BI tools are for this purpose, but here you get some additional features that you might like. Using a hybrid method. 
the users may connect data stored in large sources with the click view in memory dataset. It enables users to conduct business discovery and visual analysis with the aid of direct discovery. Additionally, it is mobile friendly and permissions and roles are also easy to implement in it. Lastly, you can interact with live applications and dashboards with the help of ClickSense. So this was a brief discussion about all three different BI tools and now I'm sure you have a pretty good idea about that. Now we are going to compare these two tools for two different aspects. One, as a BI developer, that means for your career. And secondly, for an organization, whether an organization should adopt one of the tools or not. So the very first, we are going to compare these three different tools for the perspective of a developer. That means which tool is going to be the best for you as a career option. So over here, the very first comes the market presence. This is the magic quadrant for analytics and business intelligence platforms for 2022 by Gartner. Gartner always represents their magic quadrant where they compare the different BI tools throughout the world. Here you can see that we have four different quadrants over here. Out of these four quadrants, you can clearly see that Microsoft is the leader over here. On second number, there's a Tableau and at number three, there's a Click. The three tools that we are comparing here are the best in the market. You can choose either of them. However, as we say, we always go with the leaders which is in the market. So you can clearly see that the Microsoft Power BI has a clear advantage over here. If you decided to go with the Tableau or Click, that won't be a bad decision either. The second comes salaries. On your screen, now you can see the different salaries offered by these different tools. Out of them, you can clearly see that there is a huge advantage for Microsoft Power BI and Tableau. However, salaries for ClickSense developers are quite low. However, please remember that these salaries are just an indication for you. These are the average salaries. You can earn more or less depends on your experience and your skills and how do you perform in your interview. Now let's discuss about the job opportunities. Over here, you can clearly see that Microsoft Power BI is dominating. It has a share of 36% followed by Tableau and then Click. So clearly, if you go with the Microsoft Power BI, you would get ample of opportunities in the market and you can get one job easily. Again, it totally depends on you. If you have certain skills and you can prove yourself that you are worthy for a job, you can easily get it. But in case you are still exploring your career opportunities with one of the best BI tools, then definitely I recommend you should go with the Power BI. Now it comes to the ease of learning, because if you are starting your career in the BI field or the data field, the very first thing comes into your mind, which tool you should go with, which one would be easy to learn and how easily you can adapt that tool. Then in that case, I'll say definitely go with the Microsoft Power BI. However, Tableau is also one of the best tools. They all have their unique features. In case of Tableau, you do not require any technical skills. Please note that you should be really good with the logics and there are the certain things that you need to learn. But if you are very much familiar about the Microsoft products, for example, using Excel or Microsoft PowerPoint, then Microsoft Power BI would be the best tool for you to use and to learn because it gives you the similar interface. Now let's talk about the user interface. As I mentioned just in the previous slides, if you are familiar with the Excel or Microsoft PowerPoint, then you will find the similar experience while working with Power BI. It is very easy to navigate and also you can get a lot of customization over there. In case of W, the user interface is better. Its adoption is easy through its user-friendly interface and intuitive drag and draw functionalities. And lastly, if we talk about the click sense, user interface is quite down when compared with W or Power BI. Now we are going to find the best tool for an organization. For an organization, budget is the most important thing. That means how much a BI tool is going to cost you. And the second point is the performance. Then other factors come behind. But note that this is not the final comparison. You have to check your requirements, what you really want to do, whether you want to perform the advanced analytics or you may need a tool that is easy for you to subscribe the different reports 
or maybe you are looking for a tool that has certain capabilities. In this video, I'm going to compare the certain aspects and I'll try my best to help you out guys choosing the best BI tool for your organization. The very first comes the products. These three different BI tools offer different products. Microsoft Power BI offers free Microsoft Power BI desktop app. That means you can create any report or dashboard. You can ingest data from any of the data sources and you can design your reports. Once you design that reports, you can share with your stakeholders and you can have a look that how does it appears, whether they are happy or they are not, and it's completely free. You will also get free trial period with all three different BI tools. However, in case of Microsoft Power BI, you get it free for 60 days and you can try all the pro features and premium per user features. So these are the two different license types which offers you certain features. In case of Microsoft Premium, you get advanced analytics features. That means you can also perform all the machine learning related stuff using Microsoft Power BI. Similarly, in Tableau, you get the different products, for example, Tableau Desktop App, Tableau Prep Builder, Cloud Server, Catalog, and Data Management. So these are some of the tools. You have to check which one do you really want. In ClickView, you will get ClickView, ClickSense, ClickAutoML. So ClickView is the on-premise solution by Click. However, if you want to go with the cloud, then choose with the ClickSense or ClickAutoML. Here comes the most critical part while choosing any BI product. That means how much it's going to cost you. On your screen, you can see all the licensing prices for these three different BI tools. Out of them, you can clearly see that Microsoft Power BI is a winner over here. And please note that it is not that these three different tools cannot handle the big data. All of them can handle it depends on your expertise how you are going to implement them. Now it comes to the performance. Well, each of these tools have their own unique values when it comes to the performance. And you can read on your screen. If your work is related to the statistical analysis, I'll say go with the Tableau. However, if your organization is a small or medium scale organization, then you can go with the Microsoft Power BI. In my experience, we have handled hundreds of GBs of data using Microsoft Power BI, and we really didn't feel that it is lacking behind in any kind of performance. But with Tableau, also you get certain advantages. In Power BI, you need to be skillful in order to handle big data. But with Tableau, you can handle with ease. And when it comes to the ClickSense, when you are performing advanced analytics, then ClickSense can be your friend too over there. They have very good visualizations and Click needs a developer to work with reports and dashboard. Click takes all types of data sets as well. Now let's compare about their speed. As I mentioned, Microsoft Power BI has their smart recovery, auto scale option, and it's fully managed services. That means you don't need to worry about the performance when it comes to the Microsoft Power BI services. You just need to depend on the what kind of license you are using. If you are using Microsoft Premium license, which is a capacity based license, then you would get the auto scale option. Not only that, automated performance tuning is also there if you are creating data marts on Microsoft Power BI services, which is the latest feature over there. In case of Tableau, its speed depends on RAM and data sets. Tableau also has their own Tableau query optimization, which can help you to optimize the performance while working with a huge amount of data. If we talk about the ClickSense, they have better speed since they store the data in the server RAM. Please note that always there are some advantages and disadvantages. However, in this case, ClickSense can be very beneficial for your organization. Now let's talk about the advantages. When it comes to the Microsoft Power BI, you would get a lot of features. For example, Power BI scores for connectivity, security, augmented analytics, embedded analytics, mobile BI capabilities, operating system support, and technical support. You would get monthly updates, and all the time Microsoft Power BI added the new features based on the different consumer ideas and their demands. You would get excellent data connectivity. 
And lastly, in Microsoft Power BI, you get one of the biggest online community where you can share your ideas, you can discuss, and you can also raise the questions over there. In Tableau, Tableau takes the top spot for visualization, reporting query, geospatial analytics, and operating system support. It has excellent big data handling, as we discussed previously. ClickSense ranks ahead of the other two in data visualization, advanced analytics, and IoT analytics. Now, this is the time for our final verdict. In this verdict, we have compared 14 different features these tools offer. And on the basis of these 14 different features, we are going to decide which tool is going to be the best. And the winner is Power BI. Power BI comes out ahead for 8 out of the 14 essential requirements, with W acting it in 6 categories and ClickSense winning in 4. The winning solution may not be the one for you when all said and all done. Still, the feature-to-feature -feature analysis should give you an idea of what to look for in a BI tool. Though budget is the key in choosing software, pricing will vary depend on the feature set, add-ons, and deployment model. So you have to look at your organization requirement and then you can decide which tool is going to be the best fit for your own organization. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Connect with us for training and consultation. If you have any question or concern, please don't forget to let us know. And also, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you in the next video.